Alright, I'm back Lane. And this is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst and Company, where we're catalysting each other's lives as well as our own. And we work at being the artist we've always wanted to be. Now, it's no secret, since I moved to Sarasota, uh, I, I haven't done any shows. I'm in a couple of galleries here in Florida, but I haven't been able to do shows. And it's something I love, love, love doing. But the opportunity hasn't, po hasn't popped up until now. So I'm doing my first show. Where's my stool? There, now we can see each other. Um, so I'm doing my first show February 7th, February 7th, and it's right around the corner, at uh, a hotel called Art Ovation. Um, and Art Ovation is a, is a hotel that is dedicated to art, and not just hotel art, it's not hotel art local art, collected artwork. They have a, uh, in the lobby of the hotel, there's a little area, there's actually a big area, that they use for artists. So you can have a residency, they call it, uh, at the hotel, and paint live and talk to people and sell stuff. But they have massive, they have these big paintings when you go in the lobby, and uh, then of course artwork throughout the hotel. It's really, it's really interesting. I don't think I've seen anything like it before. But on top, oops. okay, sorry, the battery was dying. Um, but anyway, on top of the hotel, they have a rooftop bar slash event space called um, Perspectives. Sorry, I got lost, Perspectives. And it overlooks the city and the Gulf. It's really, it's kind of, it's nice. It's very nice. And I was contacted by a woman named Stephanie Gray, who runs a company called Gray Productions, G R A E. And I'm linked to her through Facebook and Instagram, in case you want to look up Stephanie. She contacted me last week and uh, asked if I'd be interested in doing the show with her. And I've watched Stephanie over the past year, year and a half. And watched her business grow. She's putting on bigger and bigger and bigger and fancier and fancier events. And not fancy as in we have these nice white wine glasses. They're totally art centric. So the um, the marriage of art ovations in this instance with with uh, Gray Productions is really ideal. She brings in artists that she likes, local artists, as well as bands and DJs and performers. So when you're going to one of her events, it's uh, a full experience. It's not look at the art and drink and eat some cheese. It's you've got, sometimes there are, um, I, I don't know what they're called, the people who do the thing with the silks and they're hanging from the ceiling and being dangerous. Uh, there's also uh, fire artists, people who spin fire. I'm sorry, I don't know all the words. But uh, there's also sculpture and, and paintings. And so it's really a full immersive experience. She has DJs, she has bands she works with and singers. And so this thing at Art Ovation, it's gonna be more than just a come look at our stuff. It's gonna be, you know, live in this environment for a few hours. Like I said, it's Tuesday, February 7th from six to nine. And what I'm really excited about is for the first time, I'm going to be able to show uh, portraits or the figure work that I did of drag artists in Providence, Rhode Island. I haven't had a place that has been interested in showing the drag work. They don't feel it's appropriate for their audience or their business or whatever. I, I don't know. Everybody's got a reason and everybody's trying to make a dime. So I understand. It's been heartbreaking for me though because I love the people that I paint. I really care about them deeply. And so to not to have done the work and not be able to show not just my work but the people behind it has it's been pretty sad. But now, uh, I mean, we're still figuring out what we're gonna what we can put up. But right now, I believe we're gonna be able to show this four panel piece. It's twelve feet long. It's, uh, I did it in Providence, Rhode Island. I started it six years ago, I think, or I finished it six years ago. It's of areola. It's four drag artists in Providence, Areola, Lily Whiteass, um, <laughs> Twidgy Fissure, who I just got off the phone with way at the end, Twidgy, and then of course my friend who passed away two years ago, Yolande Fissure. My little Dexy, my little Dexter passed away, 
So uh, Dexter is leaning on me, Lily is leaning on me. I'm in the center of these two canvases, almost like a ghost or prop, because I didn't want to be the central character in this. I wanted these four figures to be shown off and to show them, um, show them in, in a, um, hopefully an exciting way, a different way than what they're used to being seen. It's something that says you're being taken seriously as artists. So, oh look, I got my hair cut by the way. Thank, thank you, Chris, I got my hair cut. Um, but I've pulled them out so I can kind of freshen up uh, their portraits, make sure that the, the paint looks good It's in it, and it has a vibrancy that I remember. I, but unwrapping them as I just did, I'm saying they're not quite as vibrant as I would like them to be. So I've got a few days to pull the colors up, um, pull it all together, and then work the sides, do the profiles the way I do, the black and white gesso, and then the aerosol colors along the side, and then glaze them, get them, let them dry, get them all wrapped up, get them wrapped up in plastic, and ready to go. But I have several other portraits I'm gonna be taking with me, uh, and, and I'll unwrap them, and I'll show them as we go along. I'm not sure how many are gonna end up in the show, because there were three visual artists that are being um, that are in the involved in this event. I'm just one of three. Two of us are painters, and we paint on a larger scale. So we'll see what happens. But I'm going to try and fit in as many uh, uh, drag artists and gender fluid portraits as we possibly can. Uh, portraits of LGBTQ uh, from the LGBTQ community. I'm also hoping that this isn't the first and last event I do with Stephanie because I would like to, I, I, I would really like to be able to show more and more work with her because of the scale of the events she's doing. So I'm very excited. Now before the data battery completely dies on my iPad, I'll just remind you one more time. The show is at Art Ovation, Art Ovation on North Palm Avenue in Sarasota, up on the roof at their, the restaurant, bar, poolside thing, whatever they want to call it, uh, named um, uh, Perspective. But it's an Art Ovation Hotel anyway, I can't miss that. It'll be up on the roof, it'll be super cool. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Anyway, I'll be talking about this and I'll be posting more and more about it, especially in my shorts and reels, so that we can just cover the ground really, really quickly. I hope to see you there. Um, if you, uh, by the way, Stephanie, Stephanie Gray, Gray Productions, is run by one person, one woman, and she's a single mom, and she's doing this on a shoestring, and she's doing a fabulous jo job. She's getting her name out there. I've seen her in several magazines now. If you would like to help support Stephanie, I'm not asking for me, but if you would like to help support Stephanie and help her get what she needs for this exhibit and upcoming exhibits, the links will be down below this video. Um, you can also, she's also linked to, to uh, what I posted today and will be posting for a while on my Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube pages in the shorts. All right, that's it. I'm Beck Lane, this is Catalyst and Company. If you would like to help support Catalyst and Company, as many of our friends have, including Eric, who I forgot to mention in the last video. Eric has been incredibly supportive, incredibly supportive. And I, my mind is like a sieve, Eric. I apologize. His name, he just, it went out of my head. I was sitting here going, you're, you're forgetting someone very, very vital who's helped you out so many times and got you to Jerry Salt. Jerry Salt just uh, two weeks ago. Um, I forgot Eric, but we've also got, uh, oh God, Linda, my, my, my childhood friend, Suzanne, Suze, who has helped me. There's so many people. One day I'll bring on a list and I'll do an Academy Awards thank you. But I thank everybody who has supported me all this way, um, including Miss Anonymous, um, who helped during the mural project and went south. But, uh, and also I have something going on in that direction as well, something better. Anywho, if you would like to continue to support, if you would like to help support Catalyst and Company for the first time, um, all the links are down below, including links to Cash App, PayPal, TeePublic, uh, Patreon, where you can supply monthly support for as little as $5 a month, 
and the first is coming up, the first of the month is coming up, that's when I get paid, wahoo. Um, also links to my galleries, if you're interested in purchasing, um, this is called, by the way, uh, One King, Four Queens, and the Princess of Polka Dots. Uh, Yeyu Kusama is in this as well, she's in the background, just over my head. See? Um, so it's One King, Four Queens, and the Princess of Polka Dots. If you're interested in purchasing that or any work that you see here, uh, you can contact Jay Louise at Blue Egg Gallery, Mark and Andrew at Chasen Galleries here in Sarasota, or Raphael Coelho at Art Firm Galleries in New Jersey. All right, that's it. Okay, Carrie, we're all feeling better now, right? We're feeling just a little bit better. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear from you, my friend. All right, ciao. Meow, 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 boink.